Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And the mini set's been out for a few days. The bugs have mostly been fixed in terms of the ones that were breaking the game on cards. Don't make, get me going on all the other bugs. And I thought I would go over five decks in both standard and wild that you can play and realistically expect to have some success with, whether it's getting to gold for the first time, platinum, diamond, or even legend. But again, it's always important to craft at your own risk. Uh, things can change and it's very early on. So always want to put that asterisk out there. And a friendly reminder, if you enjoy my content and you feel like I have earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. Hit that like button. We're always trying to grow and every little bit of support helps the channel. So let's start off. We're going to highlight, try and highlight decks that might not be the absolute best, but can do well and have new cards. I want to try and highlight at least multiple decks with new cards in both formats. So starting off, we have Murloc Shaman. I believe Language Hacker did quite well getting like top five legend, although he's a GM and just a ridiculously good player. But we got a couple new Murlocs from the latest mini set in here that are doing some work with Tide Loss Burrower that dredges and you get a 2-2 copy of another Murloc, which can be pretty beneficial when you hit like a Murloc War Leader or Cookie the Cook. And the big centerpiece of why this deck is actually relevant again is Clownfish. This card is absurd. You play it, your next two Murlocs cost two less. You can save it for the next turn or whatever turn you want. You don't have to do it right away, but even just playing a Clownfish and then playing like Flurgle and a Lushwater Mercenary for free is pretty ridiculous. And I was even playing this a bit in Wild and had moderate success. So yes, uh, Murloc Shaman, I don't think it's top tier, but you certainly can have some success with it. And it's relatively cheap with the Legendary in here being Flurgle and Burkhan, the hero card, which you probably don't even need and you have wild paw cavern in here which has zero synergy with the deck but hey the card's broken so we just put it in the deck yeah kind of a sign of a busted card when it literally just you just throw it into every single shaman deck uh fell demon hunter has seen a resurgence a lot of people doing really well with it uh mainly because of this card fossil fanatic added to the game two mana two two spell after your hero attacks uh, you draw a Fell Spell, and, well, it's pretty good with your Jace Darkweaver, which, you know, gets to recast uh, Fell Spells, and, you know, you get to attack multiple times throughout the game, draw spells, and you even have this new Hyrule that I hadn't seen lately, but carry out Fell Soul, and I believe your only demon is Zylag, and the Hyrule is you get to cop you get to be Zylag and get that out and Zylag is now pretty insane uh with the two the two damage the stocks do instead of one you get four of them so yeah this deck is doing really well across like all ranks and if you're looking for a demon hunter list to play uh you probably can't go wrong with some fell demon hunter uh control warrior is doing really well however i wanted to highlight a list that runs two new cards you have igneous lava gorger which seems to be doing better than what i thought it would and what other people is i guess just dredging is good especially when you have from the depths and even if you're not gaining the armor i guess drawing a cheap card is good enough and if you're not you're gaining armor and you're getting a taunt that's pretty solid and this list even has the new card title revenant eight mana five eight elemental that deals five damage get eight armor i don't know if it'll stick around in the deck but it's additional reach it's a bunch of armor and it's a big annoying body so oh uh, yeah if you want to give control warrior a shot give it a go it's basically the same old except it doesn't run the kazakus on win condition it just burns your opponent down with value and reach and seems to be doing the trick for a lot of people. Next is a deck that I would love to see removed from the game, and I don't even think it's that good, but I want to highlight it just to kind of discuss it. I don't know if you want to try and play it, but it's Mind Rogue. I know a lot of people enjoy playing this. It's an awful experience for players to face, but you have Noel and you have uh, Ma Maester in here. Zero Burgle cards, so it's almost like Wild Paw Noel was a problem, not Secret Passage, who would have guessed? Uh, this guy. And uh, yes, the win condition is built around your or mine, naval mine, and you can draw your naval mine with sketchy information, which procs its death rattle. You can gain the death rattle on this weapon, but you have it with Snowfall Graveyard, and it's dealing like eight damage a proc, and your opponent dies very quickly. You can tutor it out with Shroud of Concealment as well, and you have the new card in here, Shatter Shambler, which effectively lets your naval mine explode right away. So if you're you like your graveyard's up, it does eight damage immediately. It's gross, it's pretty degenerate, but if you want to give it a go, 
and try and help get it nerfed, I would appreciate it because this is a deck style that's just really uninteractive, doesn't fight for board whatsoever outside of just cheating out a Yeti on turn two because that's just broken and should have been like probably kept nerfed in my opinion. And lastly, I'll highlight um, Holy Paladin, which got a couple new cards, at least, yeah, two new cards in here at least. Um, it's Holy, you know, Holy Paladin, same deck as before where you're trying to hand buff your Mr. Smite and OTK. You have Light Forge Carrial, but you have a couple new cards in here. Uh, you have Light Ray, which just is a taunt you can cheat out after you played a bunch of Paladin cards. And yeah, that's pretty good. Zero mana taunts, pretty good, especially with Holy Mackie Roll. And well, you also have, um, is it Myrmidon? Mimerdon? I, I think of Mimeron from uh, Wild, the uh, mech. But uh, Myrmidon, which after you cast a spell on this, when you draw a card, you can like cycle through your whole deck pretty much like seven cards on 10 mana if you play this and holy mac you roll it right and not only are you doing that you're drawing through your deck you can cycle through and hit a light ray and play it for zero so uh yeah this deck seems to be doing really well with these two new cards and the deck was already performing pretty well and because it's so spell based now uh looks like people are teching in queen ajar for some extra value so you might want to give that one a go wild hasn't seen a huge impact from the mini set at least not yet but two decks in particular have really taken off because of it so we'll cover those first a uh, big shaman if you play cheating out big stupid things way too early like i did on my legend climb playing like i think i got neptulon out on turn one i i coined lightning bloomed a uh, muck morpher or something like that and boom i i got this stupid thing it's just broken it's broken and yeah neptulon is an insane target to hit and you also have the target of glug and yeah if you muck more for a glug you muck more for neptulon or you ancestors call it or even ancestral spirit and it revives you always get the attachments back it's just broken so yes it's an absolute scam Hyrule deck that you just want to bloom and cheat something out and win quickly but you also have like uh, command of Neptulon to stabilize the mid game and you can cheat things out with Eureka as well as Ancestor Skull so yeah the, the deck's absurd but it's doing well uh this list I'm showing you here is a rank one wild legend list from Reno Jackson and I went like 70% with it myself on my legend climb so really uh solid deck and the other deck that got a big boost was Malagos Druid which I hit legend with uh, today on my wild climb. It was Malagos Druid and Big Shaman because of the card of Moonbeam. Moonbeam deals one damage to an enemy twice, twice, sorry, not twice. He's an all-star. He's an awesome guy, but we're not mentioning him here. Uh, Moonbeam, yeah, twice. So Malagos, that's five spell damage twice. That's 12 damage. So you play Solar Eclipse, a Moonbeam with a Malagos up, that's 24 damage. And then Moonfire is 30. And you can do that actually twice for six total burn damage you don't even bother with swipe you don't need it and yeah all the decks all about gaining armor early getting some taunts out ramping with guff you don't need avion akun because you get 20 mana with guff or worse comes to worse you can play malagos lightning bloom solar eclipse moonbeam moonfire for lethal without guff i did that as well really strong deck i love malagos druid i love guff so obviously i love the deck i'm having fun with it and only really weak to like major disruption of course because well you have a you don't have any rat targets and you have the other malagos in there to draw cards as well the last three decks feature no new cards but i highlight them because they're very good decks combo priest all about inner fire divine spirit you want to cycle through your deck with handmaidens uh shadow visions thrive in the shadows you can try and stick a crab rider northshire cleric and kill your opponent and radiant elemental you just build a giant stupid thing and try and kill your opponent this list doesn't have potion of madness you might want to tech that in to try and steal a mini from your opponent and kill them with it but overall really solid deck uh very degenerate scammy it's wild you have to be speaking of that we have pirate rogue it's just an aggro deck that uh all around swordfish this card is absolutely broken you get swordfish out you can draw for zero man with cutting class secret passage you cheat out frenzy fell wings dread corsairs kill your opponent with mr smite and you can even lock people out with lotheb and lastly i will mention even lock i see this all the time on ladder really good deck that can cheat out giants really quickly and you have the pretty cool combo c double stinger and gigafin that locks out so many different board based decks that it just auto wins and against the slower decks you have like nerubian unraveler to kind of lock them out with spells 
spells and also just vomit giant minions like Anthron, Mount Giant, and give them Wind Fury with Battleground Battlemaster and kill them all the time. So yeah, there are 10 decks across Standard and Wild that you can take and realistically expect to have some success with. And if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.